so fine and fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> and it's Alistair <laughs> to pick a location. So where are we going now? Today. Oh look, the little road track. Okay. Anyways, so where are we going? Alright, today we're going to Bloodso's Bar and Q, I think. So it's um Q like C U E. Uh K U E. So okay. So, so what's a Q? It's when you wait in line, right? So what is this place? So this is a southern barbecue joint, like Texas barbecue, is that right? Is that southern cooking? <laughs> Guys, <laughs> Texas, Texas cooking. But they originated in in Compton, but this one's in West Hollywood, and they're known. They're pretty well known in LA, I guess. And what my coworker told me was that he called Bill's Barbecue in in San Diego. That was trash compared to Blood so, so That's fine words. Yeah, I've had Phil's a couple of times, and they've been a pretty good experience. What's their main dish at Phil's though? Brisket. Okay, that's what we're trying today. Well, they have like a sampler tray that we can order. Mm. And then we can just try a little bit of everything. And then they're known for their, they have a lot of good sides too. Maybe I chose a bad day to wear a white shirt. Well, I was I gonna, gonna, I'm gonna get sauce all over me. Last, I was gonna literally put, don't wear white tomorrow, <laughs> but. But it is barbecue. I'm not a big fan of that, so we'll see. How can you not be a fan of that? Yeah, I didn't know that. I'm not a big fan I've of never, meat. I didn't. Uh, well, okay, I take that back. I like chicken more than I like red meat. Or are you judging it? <laughs> like how I judge yo yo <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing moments. So I know Johnny, you don't really get embarrassed too easily. In fact, I've never really seen you get embarrassed before. Yeah, I'm just trying to think, have I said something or done something stupid? Maybe I'm just too stupid to know I'm being embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Especially as a kid, I was a pretty dumb dummy as a kid. My mom told me my first grade teacher she would always tell my grandma how upset she was with me that day. I didn't know this. My mom just told me a few weeks ago that she, her, my first grade teacher thought I was an idiot. I didn't think I would learn. Well, she didn't use those words, but she pretty much thought there was no future for me in learning. And now I'm a teacher. <laughs> do, you, do you say that to your kids? Is there one kid who are like, you? <laughs> well, I just found out about this story. And I told my mom, I'm not dumb anymore, mom. <laughs> By you, Joe. Here's my problem. I probably have a ton of embarrassing moments that I simply just don't know about. I can think of a few off the top of my head, like especially traumatizing ones as a kid. Well, let's go. What was like that you can think back and you laugh at? You don't need to go like you know. <laughs> we'll yeah, go. We don't, we don't, All right. Doctor <laughs> 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 no, It's gonna become an emotional session. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> back in middle school i went up on stage to do this one like play or whatever we we're we we're doing a class on acting and i had tight pants on that day and okay i wouldn't say they're tight but i was growing into them or whatever <laughs> anyways they had me lay down on stage and i wasn't popping a boner or anything <laughs> but you know a, a bulge was showing what am i gonna do right it's like okay fine just lay there and then Oh, this one guy, I remember his name, Eddie. He goes, hey, he's popping a boner. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, God. Oh. And then another kid yelled, I don't know, I think it might have been Eddie too, but whatever. And then oh. someone else says, Joe Stiff. Joe, Joe Stiff. Stiff. <laughs> oh, my God. That was my nickname oh. for the next oh, man. three years. Screw all you, Eddie. Middle, <laughs> screw all you. All throughout middle school. I, I got Joe Blow, Joe Stiff. I was like... Oh wow, God! Wow, Joe Stiff. You know what? I'm actually surprised that they were clever enough to come up with a nickname like that. I would have just called you Boner Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that's, really, that's more classy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Boner Joe. <laughs> Joe Stiff. That's pretty clever. <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna top, top Joe Stiff. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Okay, 
That's a really good rib. Oh my gosh. Like the fat to meat ratio is perfect. Really good. That barbecue sauce, it's like tomato-y. It's pretty damn good. Oh boy. I'm drooling. <laughs> Try to reach out. It's really tender. <coughs> yeah. It's like, the whole thing is really, really tender. Let me try with the sauce. It's not even spicy. All right, it's like tomato, you know? Oh, it's a little bit of heat. Perfect. I was just saying, this friend might be right about Phil's, not comparing to this place. Really? Oh. What this is this really good. The mac and cheese needs some work. Guys. <laughs> Alright, so cost. At first I thought it was a little pricey because it was 31 a person, but then I was said, you get smoked meat, you're getting all that. I was like, okay, not too pricey then. I will say that size are probably not worth it. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's on the price side for sure, but is it not worth it? No, I mean, come on, you need something to go with it. You can't just eat me. All right, so I say two and a half dollar size. Yeah, it, it's a little bit on the price side for sure. <laughs> that's Albert, that's Albert. <laughs> no, man. Simmer <laughs> part, how much? But that was worth every dollar. <laughs> oh, my that was cheaper too, wasn't it? I don't remember. Really <laughs> that was cheaper. And then, uh, okay, let's move on. Atmosphere. I do like the atmosphere. I like the music. Uh, I was telling Joe he has to find like southern hip hop beats for this video. So hopefully he accomplishes that. Anything else about the atmosphere? It's cool. They have like a, a pretty sweet bar. A ton of TVs up. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. The bar is really nice. Probably good for nighttime eats. Lunchtime, there aren't a lot of people here. But I can imagine this place getting pretty packed. And then, taste. I'll let you talk first. Taste. Taste. So, alright. I am a barbecue connoisseur, right? Okay. I love my meats. So, as far as the smoking job goes, they did a, a pretty, a very competent job. I will say that I have been to other places that are cheaper and better. Yes, shots fired. As far as is it better than Phil's, I would say, you know what? It it fills that that fill hole. <laughs> when you need that hole filled. Phil F I L Phil hole. P H I Phil hole fill. And you wanna fill his hole. <laughs> okay. If you don't want to drive down to San If you don't want to drive down to San Diego. This is a very good alternative. Yeah, all that money you would have spent on gas, it just goes straight to the blitzers. This, uh, the pork ribs, that was amazing. I really like the pork ribs. And then my second favorite would probably be the brisket. And then surprisingly, I'm not a pulled pork guy. I probably like pulled pork next. But everything else was pretty good. And the sides, just, like, if you can go without it, just go without it. And then lastly, service. It was confident, to be honest. Yeah. yeah right? It was fine. Yeah. Food came out fast. Yeah, service. I'll probably give it a sideways though. <laughs> yeah. Average. So, what is your overall rating? Thumbs up I, or thumbs down? I, 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 I gotta give it a thumbs up. Okay. I gotta give it a thumbs up. <laughs> it's definitely a thumbs up because, like, yes, it was expensive, but I think that was the only downside to it. Okay. Yeah. Everything else was definitely thumbs up. <laughs> no. Like I said, I'm not a barbecue guy, but this barbecue was actually pretty good. I actually enjoyed this meal. The atmosphere is nice, service was in, cost was in. So, you get a. <laughs> like a almost, not, almost thumbs up, like right there. But no thumbs down. It's a good place. Good eats.